Hey guys, this is David, aka HD from Juki Junkies, and I just wanted to do a quick little basic video on how to thread and wind the bobbin on the Juki TL18 sewing machine. This is going to apply to the TL2010, the TL2000, and of course the TL18. So those three machines, all the TL series Juki machines, this will apply to. So let's jump into it. Alrighty guys, so first thing first, you're gonna go ahead and take out your bobbin case and your bobbin, and you're gonna get this ready to wind. So first thing first, you're gonna go ahead and put this onto this little um, bar right here and just spin it until it clicks into place. There should be a barb, as you can see right here, and there is a slot right there. So you just wanna make sure those line up and click into place. That way, when you go to close this, this doesn't move freely. It, it's stuck in, in that little slot. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our thread on the thread stand go through the little guide right here, very, very easy. And then you're going to grab the tip of your thread and you're gonna go through this back hole on this um, tensioner, pretty much. But you're gonna go through that back hole, front or back to front. Then you're gonna go from the right to the left around that tensioner like that. So you're literally just gonna pull up, go around it like this. So that way it's around it. And I like to hold the back thread and the front thread so it's like you're flossing. Um, and now you can see that it's in that tension disc because you can feel the tension when you go to pull on it. So now I am going to, actually, I'm going to take off the bobbin um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it through this top slit in the bobbin, like right here. So we're going from underneath from the bobbin. Underneath, back up, just like that. Hold on, and you're gonna grab the thread so you're gonna pull that and then you're gonna do the same thing I did earlier. Put it on here, spin it until it clicks into its spot like that. Push this forward, pull this until this nice looks nice and tight. And you're just gonna hold this up and hit the gas pedal on the sewing machine. And just hold this thread for a couple seconds and then you should be able to just snip it, but it's also it also spins it so it's so like, um, you know, fragile that'll just snap when you pull on it, kind of like that. Um, and then you can just hold the gas pedal and continue to wind the bobbin. This will take about 20, 30 seconds to wind. And once it's done, it will automatically stop. So here we go. Alrighty, so you can tell it's already wound all the way. As you can tell, I'm hitting the gas pedal and it's not going anymore. So that means it's done. You're going to pull this little tab back. You're going to pull your bobbin off, cut your thread. And as you can see, it is nicely, evenly um, distributed on that bobbin. It's not smushy, it's nice and tight. And that, that's how you know you wound your bobbin properly. Um, you gotta, you wanna ensure that this is um, through this little tension disc here. If it's not, it's not gonna wind nice. So you just wanna make sure that is good to go. Now, obviously you're just gonna go ahead and put this in your bobbin case with the thread going down from the right side. Put it in here, pull up, click it in that little slot. Click it in, all right, so pull up, click it in the slot, go around, and we're good to go. Okay, now we're gonna show you how to thread the machine. So obviously you're gonna put your glide thread on your back spool, go through uh, this guide from back to front. It's very, very simple. Now you're gonna grab the end of your thread and you're gonna go from top to bottom in the first hole, miss the middle hole, top to bottom into this third hole. So basically it looks like that. And now you're going to, I like to hold this back end of the thread like you're flossing. We like to do this on almost everything when we're threading. That way you just have a better tension with the thread. And now I'm gonna go up around this disc, just like that. So literally just up around the disc. So back to the right now, and we're gonna go down and we're gonna do the same thing with this tension disc right here. You're gonna go in this tension disc, pulling up all the way back around almost. You're gonna stop at the halfway point and go back down left, and that's gonna catch that guide. So I'm gonna do that one more time real quick. Literally just from the right to the, uh, all the way around to the halfway point, back down, catching that tension. Then you're gonna go in this guide right here, this guide right here. Then you're gonna click into this, just like this. You can hear it click, and then you're gonna go pulling it up. You're gonna go through this guide right up here, just like that. And then you're gonna go back down into this guide again. You're gonna hear it click again. So you should hear that twice. Then you're gonna go into this guide right here. You're literally just gonna click it into place. 
just like that. Then you're gonna go around this back thread guide on the needle or near the needle, and then you're ready to thread the machine. So although also you wanna have your foot up during this whole process, it'll make the tension disc all open so it's easier to put the thread in. It's not gonna be the end of the world if you leave it down like I did. You can still do this whole entire process, but it's just a little smoother sometimes if the foot is up. So you can lift that up and it'll help you pull the thread out if you need some more thread. Now you're gonna do needle down, needle up, making sure the needle is in the right position before you thread the needle. And you're gonna push down the needle threader, go around, go around the back bar right there, just like that, and then pulling it into this little plastic slit like this and letting go at the same time. And it should go through every time. Just and there's like a separate video for you guys on the needle threader and all that good stuff. So if you're having troubles with that, you might wanna check that video out. Yes, there should be more videos on this machine. We'll drop them in the link. Um, if you're just setting up your machine, but this is just going to be threading and winding your bottom. So hope that video was helpful and it was nice and straight to the point. If you guys have any questions, visit um, jukyjunkies.com if you want to look at some more accessories for these machines or if you just want to check out these machines. If you have any further questions that we can't help you in this video, check the description in the, in the video for more videos on this machine or you can always contact us at 813 six six one nine thousand here is our business card this is our personal number and here is our shop number so give us a call if you have any questions don't forget to leave a comment down below share this with a friend like the video and subscribe thank you